Amanda is one crazy person. She's very crazy. Crazy in a sense that she loves uh, excitement, fun, and uh, just people being happy. So my memories of her would be fun ones um, because she's always been a leader and she's always been an example to the young ones and even ones who were aspiring to be like her. The Gauteng Department of Sports, Arts, Culture and Recreation has created the Sports Awards Gauteng brand in a bid to reward the province's sports stars and advocates of the game for their efforts in keeping the passion of sports alive in the hearts of millions of South Africans. Lalamzanzi has been nominated in the Sports Program of the Year category. Final chances to vote for Lalamzanzi, of course, to vote SMS 924102. The number is 924102. Kubo bonka sabil fagili labo, nalababas ogutle, and welcome to our Heritage Month special. As you know, September marks the annual Heritage Month in South Africa. Sports is part of our heritage and definitely soccer. And to celebrate this day with us, we are joined in studio by Amanda Dlamini. Whether you love her for a leadership in the South African women's national football team, Saso Banyana Banyana, or a football analysis, or even her coaching and mentorship, she is here to celebrate our football heritage with us while we celebrate her for a continuous contribution to that heritage. Jengen Jayelo Sengatando with Sizu Nagnine Makaya via our social media platforms. We are at Soweto TV channel Tina and using the hashtag Lalamzanzi Ninga Nati. Amanda, thank you very much for taking the time to join us on the show today. And of course, it's Heritage Day and welcome to Lalamzanzi. Thank you very much. And uh, to start off by saying congratulations uh, on you guys and the team um, for your nomination and um, the good work that you continue to do. Thank you very much. Um, so you busele move, si busele hadin. Abantu bamas manju Amanda with the work that you you've done with obviously with the national team and now with the analysis. Abantu bamas wutu Amanda ekule hadin in back in case it's in Gwangjan. Why in January Amanda ngalizo ikat? Well, back in the day, Ganga in Amanda we would talk. So that was my nickname from Ekaya, and Otoki was just a very cheerful girl. Um, and I got involved in football through Ukazunu mm Amungosi. -hmm. So because everyone else was older than me. So Ngang and this one day Baba Shota and then Magdalutsing Vim. And you know, um, if you're a girl and you join a boys team, you always go in as a goalkeeper. <laughs> because you always underestimate that you can't play. But surprisingly, they wanted me as an infield player. Mm -hmm. And um, from there, I got back home. The following Sunday, the coach was at the doorstep knocking at my mom my mom like and then who's this guy I tell him uh, well coach Lorna and um, he wants me to go play for young Kelly's back mm. then and I think from there that's just how my footballing just started but if, if football has it always been your first love I remember in one of the interviews I think prior to you on, on your hundred cap game in back in the US you had said that you never wanted to play anything else than than football has that since been you been your first love yeah, I, I guess so. Um, I think I was very big in athletics, um, but I think when I saw what football um, had had done for me, I think as a young girl, um, how it took me off the streets, how I was always just preoccupied. I went to, to school, from school, homework, and then um, football, and then I thought, maybe this is what I can do. So from then, I think it has just been something that I really love. Mm. Going now, being motivated to go and, and play football before you get in we are we young Kelly's um, going to watch the boys play you get motivated now you know what this is what I want to play you come back home as a lady <laughs> oh, wang, 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 shy, sparkly, every time um, I think especially mm. so um, back then I couldn't understand what her fears were and as in Tombazane, it was mm. something in Gagazi, Bonagali, in Tombazan, you'll have a fan. So I think now I saw good so cakes, or Kulum, you haven't buzzed tea. But that didn't stop me. Yes, we'd have our fights, young shower, would see, and feel young in before six or before my street lights were on. So I think for me, I was just really um, excited that I could play football. I felt mm. that I belonged somewhere. I was happy when I played football. And it was something that she never understood. Um, so, man, figure kind of thing. But it's part of it's bizarre because one, I'm in the language or I didn't do my chores at home, and then I realized that you know what? As much as yes, I'm a young girl, I want to play football, but there's still those duties that I need to do. Ekaias and Thomas and England, I still need to make that tea for her, but also I need to do my chores and clean and just be in the before. Mm -hmm. 
going out um, onto the soccer field. So then um, convince Aganjani, this is back in 1999, um, convince, um, convince Aganjani, you know what? Well, for me, it was going to be difficult um, solely to convince mm. her that I want to continue playing for young Kellys. So the support around, I think, is also very important in the communities that, yes, there are young girls who have so much potential, but the families might not agree with it. But um, the coaches and everyone else, the teachers, play a very big influential mm. role in terms of convincing the families um, to allow their young girls to go play. Because I know we still face the same struggles in our communities where the, I think Ntombazanikasi has so much talent and potential, but umamaki or ruba mvumel. So I think for me, what worked for me was Otisha versus Colleen, my coaches, um, also uh, played a big, big role in terms of ensuring that I'm safe when I'm playing with boys, because that was the key thing, that mm. I'm just that only girl around boys. So they had to ensure that I'm safe, um, that I was in an environment that allowed me to be me, and just to enjoy my football. At least I want to say that I'm going to go to the IT and the way you started, I'm sure I'm going to go to the IT and the way you started, I'm sure I'm going to go to the IT after the break. <laughs> now, the South African Football Association, together with SASO, announced an extension of their sponsorship to further develop women's football, a partnership that will continue until June 2021. The SASO League has provided an opportunity for over 3,600 female footballers, including Amanda Yena, to play regular competitive football to improve the standard of the women's game in the country and has also opened doors for the female football players to obtain bursaries at institutions of higher learning. After the break, we continue the conversation in her early days into professional football. She is one of the hardworking uh, sports women in, in, in the country, uh, always dedicated, and uh, she's forever giving 120% in everything that she does.